Hello everyone and welcome to another Unreal tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a custom Aneem instance class in C++ and let it control your animation blueprint. To get started, open Unreal Engine. Once you have opened Unreal Engine, go to the new project tab and then go to C++. And for this project, we're gonna use the third person template. And for the project name, I'm just gonna name mine Replication Concepts. You can name your project really anything you want. It's just, I chose this name because this will most likely be part of a series of videos where I cover replication concepts. One of them being animations. If you don't know what replication is, then check out the video in the description where I introduce what replication is and why it's really important in multiplayer gameplay. So proceed to create your project and let that create. Once the project is finished loading up, go to the content browser down here, click on the content folder, and then select the mannequin folder, then the animations folder, and open this file called third person underscore unnamed VP. You'll see three tabs up here. Select any of the tabs not labeled eventcraft, and then go to a name graph and double click the default state machine then double click the idle slash run state and what you'll see here is a 1d blend space what this is is essentially an animation determined by some value in this case the speed variable so if we double click this blend space you will notice that as the speed gets higher the more and more the animation resembles a running animation. And likewise, the lower and lower the speed is, the more the animation resembles a idle animation. So you may be asking, where does this variable come from? Well, it's just a variable that's part of the animation blueprint. Where does it get updated? Well, if we go to the event graph tab, if you go to the right here, you'll see something called setting speed use in 1d blend space you'll notice that the speed gets set to the actor's velocity now i'm going to right click here so that i can add a print statement by looking at print and have this execute after the speed is set and have it print out the value of the speed so let's save and compile that and then let's run the game now you'll notice immediately that on the left, the value of the speed is currently zero. That's because we're idle. So now if we start moving, the speed gradually increases until it reaches its max, which in this case is 600, which is corresponding to the running animation. So the velocity will always correspond to the animation state of the movement and the speed is updated every animation tick. What we're going to do is, if we go back to the event graph, we're basically going to try to recreate this portion of the event graph in C++. We will still, however, do the finite state machine in the animation graph in blueprints because that's very hard to do in C++ and deserves its own video. So now let's go back to the content browser so that we can create a new animation blueprint by going to animation up here and then animation blueprint and make sure to select the UE4 mannequin skeleton asset and click OK. I'm going to just name this anime BP underscore third person. Press enter. Don't get try not to get this confused with the original animation blueprint third person underscore anime BP. In fact, I'm probably just going to rename this so that we don't get confused there now open the animation blueprint that you just made and make sure you're in the anime graph tab right click anywhere and type in state machine add a new state machine and then let's call it default and left click from this animation pose to the result here now double click your state machine and then right click anywhere and add a new state and let's call this idle slash run and then left click from these this entry node to the idle slash run state 
Now double click the auto slash run state, drag the third person aisle run blend space, and then left click from this animation pose to the result. And click save compile. Now let's go back to the content browser and go to add new here so that we can create a new C++ class. For the parent class, I'm just gonna choose none. Click on next. I'm gonna name mine replication concepts a name instance. You can name it whatever you want. Then I'm gonna click create class. Before we continue on, go to your file explorer and then go to your project. And from here, go to your source folder, then go to your replication concepts folder in my case, or whatever the name of your project is. And you're gonna notice that we have C++ and header files here. What I like to do is I like to create two folders, one called private and the other one called public. And it's generally good practice to put all your header files in the public folder and all your C++ files in the private folder. So that is what I'm gonna do now. And then once you've done that, go back to Unreal Engine and go to File and then go to Refresh Visual Studio Project. In Visual Studio, you may be prompted once or twice with something called File Modification Detected. Just click on Reload. All right, now go to the anime instance header file in Visual Studio. And the first thing we're gonna do is add some include statements. The first one I'm going to add is for the anime instance class. So include runtime slash engine slash classes slash animation slash anime instance dot h. And then another include statement I'm going to include is going to be the generated file for replication concepts name instance and then for this line here i'm going to add a capital u at the beginning of the name of the class i'm going to make this class subclass u a name instance and i'm also going to get rid of this piece of text in the same line above this line i'm going to add the u class macro and in it i'm going to pass transient loop printable hide categories equal a name instance and blueprint type. Now, right before public, I'm going to type generated underscore body in all caps. And under public, I'm going to get rid of this line. And this line here, I'm going to add a U at the very beginning since we just renamed our class. And still in public, I'm going to add a U property. I'm going to make it edit anywhere, blueprint read right. And for the category, I'm going to just set that to generic. I'm going to make this variable of type float, call it speed. And I'm also going to override a method called native update animation which takes in the parameter of float delta seconds. So once you have done that, just save. Then head to the anime instance C++ file. And we're going to start off by first, of course, renaming this by adding a capital U at the beginning and adding a capital U here. Since we renamed the class, get rid of this and in the constructor here, just set the speed to zero. And then let's write another method, the specifically the native update animation method. So I'm just gonna write out the method real quick here. Also, do not forget that this method takes in a parameter called delta seconds, which is of type float. And in this method, what we're gonna do is, of course, we're gonna call the super classes native update animation method. And then after that, we're gonna call our own version. So we're going to first declare a 
variable of type a actor i'm going to call it owning actor and i'm going to set it to the result of get owning actor and i'm going to check if the result return from get owning actor is null or not if it's not then we can set the speed variable to the owning actors velocity specifically the size of the velocity since get velocity returns an f vector we just want the size because we just want the size or the magnitude of it and this is pretty much very similar to what was done in the blueprint event graph from earlier we're just getting the owning actors velocity each animation tick and sending that to the speed variable that will be used in the blend space. So just save that. Make sure you have development editors selected up here as well as Win64. Right click your project under the games folder and select build. Once your project is finished building, go back to your project in Unreal Engine. Make sure you're in the animations folder or the mannequin folder in the content folder and then open up the animation blueprint that you made just now, and then go to file, go to reparent blueprint, and look closely for your custom name instance class and select it. Now, once I right click, I will be able to look up my speed variable. So I'm just gonna select get speed here. I'm gonna link that up to the blend space. Another thing I want to do real quick, open up the blend space um, and go to the left here, go to asset details and then go to access settings and then horizontal access. I'm going to actually increase the maximum access value to 600 so that you can better see the blend from idle to run. I'm going to save that and I'm going to save and compile the animation blueprint. Now go back to the content folder here and then select the third person C++ folder and then go to the blueprints folder and then double click the third person character file and make sure you're in full view mode and select on the left here the mesh and then under details look up animation and you should see this animation tab and then under a name class select your animation blueprint so mine was called the name bp underscore third person so i'm just going to select that press save compile and then run your game just another note to prove that this is our new animation blueprint and not the original old one that came with the template if you press space to jump the jump animation no longer occurs this is okay though because we're gonna resolve this in a follow-up video to this one. Also, because we set the maximum access value of the blend, sp blend space to 600, now when we move, you can better see the transition from idle to run. Another interesting thing I wanna note here is what happens in multiplayer gameplay. So by the play button, change the number of players to two, select run dedicated server, and select new editor window. window. Now, you'll see that when a player runs, the animation is actually replicated, meaning that each client can see the other client running. Now, I'm not too sure exactly why this happens. I believe it's because since native um, update animation gets called on both the client and the server, and since the animation blueprint is tied to the third person character, which is set to replicate in the blueprint, the changes to the animation blueprint that occurs in native update animation because they happen on the server, the server will replicate all these changes to the other clients. So that's pretty much all I have for this video today. If you guys enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. The code will be in the description below as well as all of our other social media links. And as always, have a nice day.